So, project of the day. I'm installing a new wood lathe in my shop to replace the old Craftsman one. And uh, I'm kind of in the middle of adapting the old Craftsman table to support the bed of the, the new lathe. I don't want to get into too many details with that because that's not the point of the video, but um, along with this lathe I got this uh, copy attachment which I won't use very often and um, I want to keep it more or less out of the way but in the vicinity of the saw and uh, the most logical place for it is the uh, craftsman uh, tool table which I tend to use the middle shelf of for a lot of pieces of bar stock and dowel rods and things like that as well as some storage and uh, the bottom area of it has been pretty much just the domain of um, dust bunnies really and uh, I'm thinking of making a cart to put this on that'll slide under there and uh, it's actually a little too wide to go between the legs but it will go in at a bit of an angle and then swing it in so that's the goal today and again pardon me for the disarray of my shop I'm still in the middle of several projects down here I've got some uh, half inch plywood nothing fancy it does have a uh, I don't know what it is if it's birch or whatever it is some sort of no it's not birch it's some sort of a sanded filled surface ply that isn't completely construction grade but it's a little better than construction grade but not really a nice hardwood either it'll be fine for this that's what they had at Home Depot um, and I've got some as I often work with some of this uh, select pine they like to call it um, which I buy mostly because it's readily available and it's usually straight and uh, doesn't need a lot of sanding and preparation to work with. So basically I'm going to make a platform with sides on it and uh, put some casters under the bottom, throw a layer of polyurethane varnish on it to protect the wood and call it a day. Now I've already had uh, Home Depot cut the plywood in one direction uh, to the desired length and I have to cut it down the other way to get the right dimension. Had to buy a 4x8 sheet. They didn't sell this in anything other than a 4x8 and to get it in my van I had to have them cut it once so I might as well have them cut it in the long dimension of the um, of the cart. Then all I have to do is run it on the table saw to get it down to the other dimension. And I've ripped all my pine boards to the desired uh, width, which will be the height of the rim around the platform. I've got two long ones for the long sides and then a short piece which will be cut in half and that'll be the two end pieces. It's about 56 by 20 inches, so uh, definitely long and narrow. I don't want the edge of the plywood to show, so I'm going to wrap it it into the edge of the uh, plywood or the uh, pine sides by just taking out a little rabbit cut on the corner and therefore the uh, bottom will the plywood bottom will set up flush with the bottom of the edges and it'll hide the uh, the rough sides of the plywood so onto the router table well I was having some trouble getting my uh, router table set up properly the adjustments on it are pretty unwieldy and I just decided not to mess with it uh, since the dimensions on this are not really critical I just cut the uh, corner out of the boards using the table saw making two cuts I went a little bit deep on that but it won't matter basically these will be the sides and the uh, plywood will come in here where my finger is and uh, then this little lip here will be the decorative um, facing that covers up the edge of the plywood. 
so I'm just uh, joining up the uh, side panels as a frame using a couple of wood screws and the uh, short end uh, overhangs the long sides so I go in through the short end and into the edge of the long sides. Um, <clears throat> A downside to the way I'm doing this is that you end up with this little notch here that I might fill it with some little piece of scrap wood just to make it look slightly better. And here is the completed frame ready for the uh, plywood insert to go in. And I'm just going to use a bunch of small wood screws about every 8 inches going all the way around. Okay, so the bottom is on, sides are all together. Got the screws in about like this. And flipped over. It looks like that. Note that the uh, edge of the plywood is completely hidden. I'm not even going to bother sanding this. The edges come together pretty nicely. The one thing I do want to do is try to patch these little holes here. And now that I've got some hole plugs being epoxied in there, <clears throat> I've got these casters uh, from Home Depot. Two regular ones and two with locks on them in case I want them. I don't think this thing's going to want to roll on its own, but it might be nice to have some brakes on it. So I'm going to put those on um, one long side and um, I'm going to drill through from this side so that uh, if it breaks out any wood it's on the other side. Be a little better looking. So it's probably going to go about this way. I'm putting bolts through with lock nuts instead of putting screws through. Um, <clears throat> so, actually I think what I'm going to do is place them on the other side. No, that's, that's too hard. I'm just going to do it this way. So now I've got the plugs in there to fill the holes. Obviously it's not an exact match of the grain, but I don't care. <clears throat> I've got the holes drilled for the casters and time to throw on a quick and dirty coat of polyurethane varnish. And now I've got my usual fan heaters on to uh, warm it. I actually had it drying quick enough I was able to slap a second coat on on top of a half dried first coat. Not the greatest way to do it but it'll work especially with the accelerated warmth of the fan heaters. And in the morning I'm going to give it a coat on the bottom and then uh, throw the casters on it and it should be ready for use. And now the next morning I've got a couple coats of uh, varnish on the bottom side which is definitely the rougher side of the plywood and I didn't bother to sand it. I just slapped on some nice coats of polyurethane and calling it a day. Uh, once this gets cured in a few hours, I'll slap the casters on and then this project will be complete. Alright, so all the casters are screwed on now. So this big uh, copy attachment on my lathe is the thing along with its mounting brackets and various accessories gets taken down and set on this tray at which point because it's uh, a little too wide out of necessity to fit uh, straight in between the legs the fact that it's on casters is it can go in like that and just reside under the table until needed. 
and uh, the copy attachment taken off the lathe fits in there precisely as I had hoped it would with all the various mounting brackets and accessories.